How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. A company called Amato sent me this thing called a handy stitch. It's a handheld sewing machine. I didn't even know these things exist. But after reading this instruction manual, you'll see it's really, really long. I'm going to try to demonstrate to you how it really works with something much bigger so that I can actually show you. But first, I'm going to unbox this for you and just kind of show you the ins and outs of this machine. It's one of these as seen on TV products. They have an instruction manual here and I read through some of it. The English isn't too good and I couldn't understand some of the steps. So this thing comes installed with a white bobbin and then there's a light green and also a blue. Here's a needle that's installed already and it comes with another needle. And then it comes with this little piece of cloth that seems like it was used with this machine just to prove to you that it works or used in uh, quality control or whatnot. It doesn't come with the batteries. You'll notice I have tape right here because I gave it a practice run and I actually broke this little piece of plastic off and now it just won't close anymore <laughs> because this little piece of plastic is not there. So I'm just using tape to uh, tape it together so at least I can show it to you. There is some sort of charge port here, 6 volt, 600 milliamps. Over here, there's some sort of safety switch, but I found that it doesn't really work too well because see, look, you can move it a little bit and this safety switch pops right back out. So I'm gonna try to push it in here and supposedly you can't push it down. So then it won't move and the needle won't come and poke you. Without it pushed in, you can see, you really don't want to stick your finger in there once this thing is moving. And then this thing is the manual control. You can move it up and down like this. So you move it all the way up so that you can release it from this needle because once this is down and your cloth is in between, you can't pull it out, right? So you just got to turn it up, make, make the needle come up, and then you lift this little pushy thing, this little pushy thing. You got to lift it up so that you can pull your cloth out. So let me demonstrate how to put a new piece of string in through here. You push it, put it through this hole and then you put it through this tensioner here. This holds it a little bit tighter or looser so that you can control the amount of string that's going in there or thread that's going in there. And then you thread this through that little tiny hole over here. Here's where I really need this threader thing or else I don't think I will be able to put a string through this hole. Okay, then you put this string through that thing there and you just pull it out. Okay, and then you have about two inches of string out here and then you're ready to go. So I got this little piece of cloth I want to turn into a little pocket. So I'm going to fold it up like this. This is inside out first and then you lift this tab and put in your cloth right here. It's going to feed the cloth to the left. I don't want it to go all the way to the end, so I'm gonna lift this tab and gonna make a turn here. That didn't work out too well because I just went off the track here. Let me do it again. Put this back in there. And I give it a rip. Okay, so it's at the end here. I need to push it all the way up to the top. I'm gonna push this out. Okay, and then I'll give this a cut here. So you'll notice there's this little loop left over here. If you just pull on the string, it's just all going to unravel, which is not what you want. You want it to be locked. So what we'll do is you just pull this little hoop out a little bit longer. And then you feed this piece of string through that little loop. And then you pull it tight. And just like that, it's all taut and it's not going to unravel that way. So you make sure this little piece of string um, isn't too short because if it's a little short, it's going to go back through that little loop and then it'll unravel. So just kind of cut it off, give it some margin like that. And then on this side, you, know, you just give it a little bit of margin and then now Pull this out. And then I don't really know what I just made here. I think this was a hand warmer from the Simply Earth uh, subscription box. Anyway, you see after you do the stitching, this is a pretty good stitch. I mean, it's strong and it's very even. This is very interesting to me because I never had a sewing machine and this handheld thing works just fine. 
and uh, I don't know, I like it. It's pretty cheap. I think it's less than $20 on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below in the video description if you're interested in getting your own. Initially, the needle would go down through the machine even before it pierces the fabric. And then there will be a hook over here that hooks on to the thread, okay? And then it's going to create a little uh, loop right here underneath the next part that it's gonna pierce through. The needle comes up, okay? And then it goes in through that hole. And then it lets go of the previous loop and grabs hold of the next loop. And then it creates another loop in front of the next position. And then it moves the cloth forward. And then now the needle is going to pierce through it again. And it just repeats this over and over again. Goes through the next hole. It lets go of this and pulls another loop out. And then at the end when we stop, this is why we want to cut the thread and thread it through this loop here. If I did cut it and we pull this taut, it's going to be tight here. And you see this whole thing is kind of strung together like this. So I hope that was interesting for you. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this handy stitch thing. I do have a Patreon link over here. And also don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.